welcome back to Mortal Shell with me and my wife, Alto. Hey. So it's probably going to sound a little bit different, kind of stuffy, because I'm recovering from a cold, but I'm mostly recovered. And you just saw some footage of me defeating the boss just outside of this first area. Um, yeah, off camera, I just ran back here and fought the boss on my own. And it actually wasn't that hard once I stopped being afraid of it. Like, it was still a decent challenge, but yeah, um, I think I was just being too afraid <laughs> of it <laughs> to really engage with it as a boss. I think you are intended to do it pretty early. Um, Isn't that just like life? The only thing holding you back is you. It is. So there seems to be a lot of things and pathways leading out from that cave where I defeated the boss. I only looted a, a chest that was just like immediately right next to the boss. And then I left everything else for when we're on camera. But the thing I looted from the chest was something that we can use to upgrade our sword. So let's go do that. Oh. Forgot what it is. Bolt or something. Ha uh... Oh, mechanical, mechanical spike. spike. Yeah. So it doesn't say like stats or anything, but. Set is an enhancement, so it has to enhance. Ability acquired hollows. Oh. Get enough resolve from attacking enemies to activate a powerful weapon ability. Oh. Left and right button. Wonder how much resolve you need. Probably quite a bit. Probably a whole bar. Yeah. Oh, and I gave us full resolve. Maybe to test it out. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it also does more damage or what? Or if that's all it did. I don't know. Like, I don't think our sword has stats. Oh. Well, you'd have to look at the... Oh. Yeah, like, it doesn't say stats of any sort. Maybe if you look at the shell. Because the sword also seems kind of tied to the shell. Huh. Yeah, they have their own stats, like a Mario Kart car. <laughs> 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 Looks like this one is completely average on everything. Yeah. So, average turn. Oh, uh, there's also abilities. Oh, that's just the tree of upgrades. Mm. So, yeah, as far as I can tell, I don't think this increased the damage. I think it just gave us the ability, but who knows. Oh, and also off camera, I grinded a bunch. I just felt like feeling out the combat and all of that, and I grind it to the point where we have 3,000 tar. Yes. Which is yes. enough to get almost anything that's here except for this. Hmm. So, yeah, let's look through and figure out which one we want to go with. I'm pretty sure I know which one, but not totally sure. Harden in the air to create a devastating area of impact upon landing. I don't think that sounds good. Like, when are we going to be able to use that? Yeah, but it doesn't seem like you can jump yeah, yourself, exactly. so you'd have so. to drop down from somewhere, and then you risk fall damage. It's like a whole thing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's a chance for enemies to drop an additional glimpse on death. That's a pretty cheap one, so I don't want to use it on that. Mm. Short time after hardening, enemies killed have a chance to drop an additional glimpse. That's also a cheap one. This is the one I think we should probably go with. Harden yeah. cooldown reduced by 25%. Sounds really good. There's also this. Hardening causes Haros's, um, how's it pronounced? Haros? Haros, maybe? Haros's stamina to rapidly refill. Th that one too, actually. Either one of these <sighs> yeah. I'd be happy with. Mm. Hardening lasts for twice as long upon being broken. I don't know what the hell that means. That doesn't make any sense to me. So, one of these two. <laughs> more stamina while hardening, or ability to use harden more often? I think harden more often. Yeah, that's a lot more practical and something you'll use like all the time, right? Yeah. They were a pathetic lot, squandering their time to drink moonshine and fight over scraps. An offering of a bag of tar garnered me their quick attention. 
but I sensed betrayal in their eyes. I knocked one down, and the other told me all he knew. As I turned to walk away, one struck my armor with a rock. Were they mad? I could just as soon cut them down as take a piss. I looked into their hungry eyes and warned them as much. What a man. What you didn't know that he actually really struggles with pissing. He it's has like, like <laughs> really like shy bladder. <laughs> if he like knows there's anyone nearby, he cannot go. So there's our new 25% less time. Oh. So yeah, let's go see what else is in this cave. There's a lot, a lot of pathways, and I think maybe another vessel or, or something? Yes, I wasn't watching Lila play before when she defeated the boss. I was like, not here for it. I was like, I want to do something. I was like, I want to like pet Transpian and like look in her eyes and like touch soft fur. I don't want to watch my wife game. I don't care about her gaming. But now I've like reformed and I'm back into the gaming. And I remember you told me about the body, yaddy, yaddy. Yeah, because one of the, like, spirit places in that building over there that show you, like, where to get this thing, it showed you an image of this place. Yes. Um, yep. There's three tunnels leading out of here. I assume that one down there is probably the main one, but I don't know. Do you want to go to these side ones first? Yeah. There's that one and that one. They could be just little caveys. Yeah. That's not that's, a good sign. That's a skelly. It's just this. Just bleh, bleh, bleh. is this just outside? Is it? I don't know. No, I think this is some interior place that you can't get to otherwise. Oh, be careful of the traps. Yeah. Maybe lead them to the cave and have them Legos chopped off. Oops. <gasps> yeah, I should have backed up. I'm a little rusty. It's all right. It's all right. Kind of it's forgot right. how to play. <laughs> I've been sick. I haven't played for a while. Yeah. Because you can't tell from her voice being 10% sexier. <laughs> When, when she's not coughing up phlegm. <laughs> <laughs> I've kept your flesh safe, family. Thank you. Thank you. Do you think they grab her body out of like a pickle jar? <laughs> it is well preserved. Yes. Moist you are. Infused with flavor, foundling. <laughs> Flavorful foundling you are. You are very much food for tot and tummy. <laughs> Where's your body yaddy yaddy? Oh, I just grabbed it. Oh. Just that little red thing. Oh, I still haven't gotten used to that. Okay, let's do a parry. Yeah. Are they just not interested? <laughs> oh. Okay, 
My Harden doesn't come back that quickly. <laughs> oh. oh, God. I'm so rusty. I defeated the boss, and now I can't defeat a couple basic enemies. We'll get back into it. We'll get back into it. Ease into it. It really has been, like, almost a week since you last played. God, I remember when I'd take a break of, like, a day or two in Dark Souls and come back. Woof. Yeah. Kept your flesh safe. I think right now one of the biggest things I'm doing is not using hardening enough. Yes. I'm doing the Dark Souls dodge, which works, but I should also use harden. Plus, I'm not paying attention to my stamina enough. I really have very limited stamina. Mm. And if you run out, you can't dodge, you can't really do anything. Very bad. And these freaking traps are so obnoxious. Mm. Like there, I should have hardened. Jesus. That was a terrible fight. Is there a dude left? You could parry? Yes. <laughs> That's an appropriate sound. Is this new? We'll grant a buff, which... No, I don't think so. Oh, fuck. Oh. Were they invisible? I don't... I wasn't paying attention like that. Uh, well, they're definitely standing on air. Why don't you come to me? Okay, so this is that upper place where people shoot arrows at me that we couldn't get ah. to. So this is how you get there. Cool. What the hell? Oh, they're down there. I think they're kind of just glitched out. Yeah. <laughs> Defo. Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> really? Uh, well. I think you're really close to the... No, never mind. friend. Grom? Groff? Oh. Oh, come on. How'd they still poison us? I think because there was two. Oh. Damn. I mean, shit, I'm probably gonna die then, huh? Uh, yeah. Unless you wanna, like, lose your glimpses or your tar. No, seven glimpses is a lot. I... That's not where to go. I don't know where anything is. I'm just running until I recognize something. 
Well, I think this is really near the... If you go left now, you'll come to the door, I think. No, go up. Oh, no. Okay, I think this was, like, actually really close to the beginning. Where you, like, um... Turn uh, left to go to the church and go turn right to go down the stream. I think that's wh where you died. You left a guy, Mix. I have no idea. Okay. I don't know how to navigate there from here. Okay. Um. Like. Go. I would go up. 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 Up that building. Up to the first floor of the building. <gasps> oh. Okay, yeah, and out there. And then just go straight forward from here, like somewhere over there. Isn't this where I died? Like, we, didn't we run past that? No. no. No, it was a different spot. Yeah. So just like go this way? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, wait, I think you did run through here the other way and I think you did so where was I when I died oh girl ain't that this all looks the same to me mm. I didn't get this far Nectar, oily and congealed. Damn it. Fucking hell. I was trying to parry. So like, was it up? No, Here? I think it was the opposite way from this. So where from here? I I don't know. Over like, left, there. Like we came, you think we came to here from the opposite direction? I think over there, if you go forwards, there should be a stream going downhill, and that's where you died. There! Ah! You're genius! I am genius. This is why I'm here. Okay? My brain. My brain power. It was all saved for this. My mother birthed me, and she whispered to my infantile ear. She said, you will one day aid. Total Game Freak, the greatest <laughs> mortal shell gamer of our time. Oh yeah, I'm so good. <laughs> you know, it's it's about the progress, you know? Started from the bottom, now we're here. Sip this, Angels. You know what? We almost have enough tar to get some of these. Ooh. And we have, like, some tar items. Might as well do it. Yeah. Like the remnant of tar and the coagulated. Congealed? Congealed. Congealed. I don't think we've used this at all, so let's see how much it gives us. Probably a lot. 150. Okay, it's not that much. I think that's enough. Yeah, but way better than the other shit. Yeah. That's enough for this. For a short time after hardening, enemies killed have a chance to drop an additional glimpse. I mean... So it sounds like a... Uh, Pace itself back, kind of thing. Yeah. Plus, the more my resources I can spend, the more comfortable I feel about dying. I just skipped that again. Oh. Oh, I forgot it has dialogue. I'll read it. First. First, I heard the squeals as if from a mer a hundred mouths. Then I saw her. A revered, 
a writhing mass of sinew, as if all all one she was splitting apart and c- c- coals- coalescing. Coalescing. Is it salvation to look upon her deliverance? I knelt, losing my strength, losing my religion. <laughs> I wanted to look away, and yet she was all I wanted to see. Better than the original girl. <laughs> thank you, thank you, and thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm taking a bow. <laughs> If you're looking for voice actor, send an email to my email address on YouTube on my about page. <laughs> okay, so where were we? Over here. Over here. I am, I don't know how I feel about those archers. I don't want to try to attack them at all. They suck. Archers suck. Maybe they'll be less glitched and not like off the glyph <laughs> this time. Oh, no. Go in there. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, yeah, that's what I need to do. Pace myself more. Like, I want to yes. keep going in for more attacks, but I need to get my stamina back. I need stamina to go in, get a couple attacks, and dodge. Yeah, that's what this... This really is Dark Souls in that sense, that you gotta you gotta stay calm. Yeah, you gotta pace yourself. You can't be ranking up them kills like that. Or the only kill you'll get is your own. I'm not going that close. Yeah, you come to me. You come to Pharaoh's. Sauntering over casually. No big O. See, that one's, like, so glitched. Trying to trigger them to take out their mm. melee. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Alright. End? What do you do after that? Okay. Come on over. I don't think they have a path to me. Oh. I, I'm just... Should I just leave them? I think so, yeah. I do love the weight to the combat. Like all those mm. attacks and dodges feel very deliberate and and just super weighty. It's yeah. it's quite a bit slower than Dark Souls. And slower still than like Sekiro, which was faster than Dark Souls by far. I think it especially feels like slower than Dark Souls because in Dark Souls you always went for a dex build. Yeah, that's true. And so you were always a quick little bastard in in Ducky Souls. That's what I'd call it, Ducky Souls. DuckTales. Duck souls. Woo-hoo. That sounded really close. <laughs> Hello. Actually, actually, you know what? Let's fucking do this. 
Yeah, let's fucking do this, eh, mate? Did you know that actually it like it was provided some NPC voice acting for this game? Oh, cool. Just now that was playing from the game. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so this... I think we just haven't been here. It actually links up with a trail that you can... that we could have accessed before, I think. Mm. So I wonder if I should go back to the cave? Yeah, I think go back and, like, try the other roads. Yeah. Good God, this game really is like... You can go anywhere and there's so many places to go. Oh, there's so many. This, like, triggers my anxiety disorder. I'm like, ah, too many places. What if I miss something? No! <laughs> FOMO, fear of missing out. That's that's what I was diagnosed with officially. FOMO disorder. But after you recover, you get diagnosed with MOFO disorder. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, damn, this is a long one. I love these tunnels. They're really creepy. Yeah. Kind of like birth, but worse. Yeah. Birth canal ain't stretchy. <laughs> Sounds like a nasty boy. Man, these freaking traps. I hate them. <laughs> what do I see in the distance? I don't like that. Lights? Yeah, but it looks like a bunch of like torches, maybe a creature with like a fiery Aww. body. What if it's just a campsite, eh? Just a little campsite of like a school outing, you know, school field trip. They go camping. Everyone has a light. No one's supposed to get lost. Everyone has their light on. And then like after the teachers go to sleep, everyone goes to play hide and seek in the forest without lights, so that it's harder. And then one of the kids gets lost forever. What if it's something like that, huh? That's not menacing at all. I don't know, that's, there's a lot of fire there. Unless it's like <laughs> 10 campfire. Oh, hey, you guys didn't like do anything? Whoa! They, they never <laughs> liked Peter. Oh, that fucker. Just fucking got away. We'll fucking come and know him. Never like that bastard. Absolute fucking sodding bastard. Ate at him. I oh, fucking ate at him. I should be using my. Ah, I should be using my resolve, huh? Yeah. Did you ever try out Fuck. the attack? The kick? No, the, the weapon ability. Uh, no. Oh. Oh! Oh, it uses two bars. And apparently does a lot of damage. Shit done, good god. Yeah, those normally take like, I don't know, six to eight hits? Yeah. I'm mad about it. Don't you just hate men who think being an archer and like sniping you from high up above is like a replacement for having a personality? Like, no, you're still boring. I'm not talking to you at parties. You see, you're fucking boring, and all you do is fucking shoot arrows at me from high up above <laughs> places. And it's like, it makes you really inaccessible. Use your words, <laughs> not your arrows. Girl, these scare me so much because they look like they reset instantly. Yeah. Like, maybe they do? <laughs> I don't know. I think Scary. they do. Hmm. Let's take some moonshine. To continue the previous joke, then the dude's always all like, you don't get the point of it. I'm like, I do get the point in my shoulder from your arrow. <laughs> it's in there. Stop it. No one <laughs> likes you. No one likes you. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll leave a bar so we can get some from killing people. Oh, we just maxed out the uh, knowledge of it. Oh. What does that do again? Maybe it like, hurts us less, gives us more or something. I don't know. Do you, th do you think there's illusory walls? Oh. Ah. Uh, nope. Which one of these heals? Mm, not the frog, so... Roasted rat? The rat. The rat is where it's at. The rat is where it's at. at, at. That looks like a burning... I think it's a statue. A burning tree. Yeah, or... Yeah. I feel like we saw a burning tree in one of the senses that we... Instincts that we sensed. So do you think we should keep going this way, or should we go back and go the main way? I don't know if it's the main way. The center way. I think maybe this way will lead us to another body yaddy yaddy. Which is why maybe we should go back. Because we've got a body back here, right? Yeah, we do. Pro I mean, probably. According to the vision. Vision? This is what it looks like for babies born in 2020. Just like being horribly pushed out into a terrible dystopian world. They don't even get pushed out. They have to crawl out on their own. <laughs> yeah. You got to pull yourself up by our umbilical straps. <laughs> oh, that's what this that is an unironic view of <laughs> all fucking Republicans. God, yeah. It's not that boss. What? It's not that boss we saw in a cave. I think so. You telling me the boss just leads to a tunnel that goes to another boss? I suppose so, huh? I mean, well, it's easy to come back here and try it again, given how close it is, so... Go for it. Here we go. Have I already died with this body? Yes. Oh, that and the the shell is right behind it, isn't it? Oh. Uh, we're gonna cut here, and I'll be right back when I have another life. <laughs> all right. All left. All right. All all right. Oh, I oh. thought you were a boss. Oh, there's no health bar. It looks just like that one, that one boss, but yeah, it doesn't have a special health bar, so okay. not a boss. That was way less scary than I thought it was going to be. Whew. Yeah. You ever think about how hard life was back in the day to people who, like, grew, like, tails? And people were like, oh, it's a devil. But it's like, nah, it's just leftover evolution, brah. <laughs> yeah. It's just useless. <laughs> God. Must have been so difficult. Wait, why am I naked again? When did I lose my other shell? I think you just get naked for all these cutscenes so you can have... What does this. it look like to take your body off? <laughs> it's really cool looking armor. Yeah. Unknown. How does it become known? Do we have to like bring it back? Yeah, and then you like, I don't know. Like, last time she did it, but could there be a way where we could, like, find their name or whatever? I don't know. Does it show up in the shells menu yet? Unknown. Does it say stats? Yeah, it does say stats. Okay, so very high resolve. Higher durability. The only thing they're missing is... Actually, do they even have worse stamina? Or is it just the same? It's like in I the middle. I think it's the same. So is it just better? Yeah. Sorry. Haros, you are just a sleeve, Haros. 
So what does better stamina or better resolve mean? Does that mean you generate it faster or you have more bars? Because I think there's five when we had like four before. Yes, that is a new bar. Maybe it means, hopefully it means both, that you also yeah. get it faster. Sis, we found another one. Who's this one, sis? Who's this one? Yes. Slowly. Oh, so it costs a little bit to get the name. Ah. A scholar. <laughs> Existence is a curious matter. The greatest triumph in the universe. Gifted and squandered. I shan't make the same mistakes as my brother. When the moment comes, I'll exercise restraint. This guy sounds much nicer. Yeah, they do. What kind of things do they have? I imagine they're different abilities. Killing an enemy with an empowered post has a chance to restore all resolve. Whoa. Ooh. I don't know what the chance is, but that's really good. Chance to heal on using a weapon ability to slay an enemy. When holding a sacred gland. I just like that name. <laughs> right, we're still looking for them glands. When talking to an NPC, Solomon gains a segment of resolve. Huh. Huh. Put your enemies off balance with a powerful kick. Oh, nope. right. Yeah, you never saw us using the kick that we got, I think, last episode. I used it off camera when I was defeating the boss and stuff. It sucks. It's like, I don't see any reason to use it over a repost or a parry thing. Yeah, you use a full bar and just like put yeah, you, them off balance for a few seconds. Yeah. Harden the air to create a devastating area of impact. Oh, that's the same thing. Pretty isn't it? Yeah, I think the resolve gain might be different, but pretty much the same. Mm. Yeah, so some of these are similar, some of these are unique. Maybe the smaller ones are like similar, but the big ones are unique. Oh, yeah, it might be. So if we wanted to change bodies, is it like... Uh, it's here. Huh. Yeah. Why would we want to? We just spent all those resources on this body, but apparently that body sucks and this one's better, so like, bye. Yeah. Where do you think we should go now? I... I mean, literally anywhere, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we explored a little bit of the both of the tunnels, but we didn't go like all the way in because then we saw that it was continuing on for a really long time. Should so, we go there or should we? I mean, I say I, we should go to one of the tunnels. Okay. And follow it to its end. I'm more curious of that one that had like fires in it. Same. The tree on fire. Because I think that leads to another... Oh, that was the other one. The ah, tree on fire. Yes. Because I remember it from a vision. It showed my true love's face. If we go to that place, I will get a piece of that ass. Come on, get your little steppies over here. <laughs> Don't make me play my loot. Don't let me get lewd. This is terrifying. <laughs> oh, it worked! Hell yeah! <laughs> oh my god. I mean, oh. <laughs> One, two. Oh. God, these bear traps scare the hell out of me. I'm so worried about dodging into them. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna get up in like a quarter millisecond. What? 
Oh my god, I think you just did some damage from them running into you. I should also mention, off camera, I was experimenting with hardening and attacking, and I think I understood what it meant in the tutorial by try combining attacking and hardening. You can kind of save up an attack, like, oh, I'm going to attack you, and then stop. So then you'll basically hit them as soon as they hit you. Mm. I don't know if it's terribly useful, but it is a thing you can do if they care to come to you. They look like they're like just like trying to camp think of like diss lyrics. For a diss track. <laughs> You're standing there, looking so hard, looking broke, like you're completely out of tar. <laughs> Maybe use the weapon ability again, because you have so much resolve. Yeah. Come on. Man, that's really good. I was lucky. I ran out of stamina. Yeah. Mm. Congealed. Uh, the, the tar is just in a cage. That's creepy. <laughs> it's Are they worried the, about it getting out? It's very important to aerate your tar. You know, you can't just put it in an airtight box. It'll uncongeal. <laughs> You know, I just realized that stamina regenerates when I'm hardened. Like, not even slowly. It restores the normal amount, a normal rate. Hmm. That's... Yeah, actually, that's pretty useful. I think I just kind of assumed that wouldn't be the case. Never assume, for you are a ignorant little baby in this world. Yeah, I was assuming the Dark Souls thing of, like, use a shield and your stamina regeneration is either non-existent or really slow, I don't remember which. Those enemies are new. Like, what they're wearing is different. Hmm. They have consistent outfits. They feel like cult members or something. Oh. I don't know, should I go up this way or should I... I don't know. I never know where to go. There's yeah. so many pathways. Let's pick a direction and go. Whoop. 
Bye bye. Nasty. Oh, you just got a glimpse. Oh. Are we going up and away from the mist? No, we're going upper and mistier. <laughs> yeah. Why do I feel like this is going to fall on me and stab me? Oh, yeah. this is a zone. Do we want to go into a zone? Oh, it's a zone we'll stay at, too. Oh. Uh, I mean... Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. You think we should go back down? Yeah, because there's so much more to explore. Although maybe we should like quote unquote unlock it in case there's like fast travel later. Oh, that's true. It will respawn these enemies though, but uh, let's unlock it. I mean, do you have to sip the tar? Can you just like oh. tell her like wakey wakey X and X and bakey? Yeah, actually, maybe you don't have to. Actually, they're asleep right now. I need to at least yeah. talk to them a little bit. Yeah, I'll waken her. You've kept me waiting, Fowling. <laughs> Do not worry. It is only a jest. This path ahead is littered with monuments to suffering. Thought I might lighten the mood. <laughs> not that I've ever had much talent for humor. Aww, don't bring I yourself down like that, sis. They laughed all the time. Hmm. Now I'm rambling like an old crone. You're here for another sip, aren't you? Actually, no. no. Very well. So, yeah, it's activated. And... Aww. Aww. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to make our way back down there and keep going forwards? I yeah. don't know. In most games, I can tell what the critical path is, the main way. This game, I have no idea. We're lost in the sauce. <laughs>